mother-in-law. I don't know what kind of point she's trying to prove. <laughs> but she is being bold. All right, so our birth show listener, Olivia, is on the line. She's getting married next weekend, which is huge. Her mother-in-law just decided to ditch the dress she had and got herself a new one. But the new dress she just purchased is the exact same one that Olivia's mom is wearing to the wedding. Ain't no so way. She essentially purchased the exact same tra- dress as the mother of the bride. So the mother of the groom and the mother of the bride will now be wearing the exact same dress to the wedding unless Olivia has a say. Did I get that right, Olivia? Uh, yeah, to the point. Yeah, yeah good morning. Um, yeah, it's not exactly the same, but it is so similar to where it's just like... It might as well be the same. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and give it. Give us first the history of the relationship you have with your mother-in-law. Um, it's okay. It's not the best, I guess, as any woman with another woman. And, you know, she loves her child so much that no woman will ever be good enough for him. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, we get along pretty okay. But it's just the fact that you did this in such a late hour and why and whenever I bring it up and say, Hey, this isn't cool. I I need you to change, you know, wear the original dress. We all, you know, have been set on this for a while now, you know, Mm -hmm. it's like, why are you doing this? And she's just like, does not understand what the problem is. So she doesn't understand it. Olivia, I'm curious. Why did she decide? Like, what was her reasoning? So it's, it's obvious you've brought this up to her. And you've said something to her, but what's her reasoning behind getting the second dress? Just because. Just she has, just because. She has no reason whatsoever. I really think that she just saw how good my mom looks in hers. Oh, okay. And, you know, and it's like, oh, oh well, Were you? I could look mm-hmm. that good also. So it's just... I, I don't understand. I mean, with the whole wedding planning and everything, there's always been some extra tension there anyway. But my mom is paying for the wedding. You know, so my mom should have first dibs. And I haven't told my mom that, you know, my future mother-in-law has changed her dress and her dress looks almost like hers. So I'm sitting here like, oh, my gosh, I'm trying to get it fixed. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm asking my fiance. He's like, I don't know nothing about dresses. This is all on you. And, oh, you know, he's no is. help whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's just like I, 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 I'm not understanding how she is just being so disrespectful. And in the late hour also, because if my if I tell my mom and then my mom is bothered by it, then she's got to go now find a dress within a week. This is just the rudest stuff ever. I'm just. (sighs) And you said you've talked to your mother-in-law about it already. Yes. And she is not willing to budge. She does not understand the problem. Do you think you. Okay. So I have, I have an idea, but I don't know if you would want to do it because your mom does have the right to wear the dress first. Are you doing a rehearsal dinner? Yes. So here's what I would do if I were you. I would go to my mom and I would just spill the beans like, hey, mother-in-law's wearing the same dress as you. I've tried to talk her out of it. I don't know what her deal is. So what if your mom wore the original dress to your rehearsal dinner? So she wears it first and it looks like mother-in-law's copying her the next day. And your mom gets a new beautiful dress that you help her pick out for your wedding, which I realize it's a week out. That's tough. And you shouldn't have to go through those hoops. But that's the only way I can think of upstaging your mother-in-law is having your mom wear it first a day earlier. That is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Considering, yeah, how difficult your mother-in-law is being. Now, what kind, like your, like the relationship you have with your mom, um, it seems like you guys have a good one and have a tight one. What if you and your mom approach mother-in-law and be like, what are you trying to prove here? And like call her, call her out on her BS and like you get your mom involved or would that just make it could that lay the scene for it to be super awkward and uncomfortable at the wedding? I honestly, I feel as if we're too big of an age to have to go through all these I things. I know. That's a fact. <laughs> and I would hate to put my mom and in this, that kind of position. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's a thought. And if my mother, if I want, I guess I'm going to have to tell her, but once I tell her, if she is like, you know, 
offering up saying, hey, I'll talk to her. Okay. I'm willing to go down the path, but right. I just feel funny putting my mom in that no, position. No, and I appreciate that, and that totally makes sense. All right, so we're going to bring your uh, your fiancé into this. We're going we're gonna to bring we're gonna bring the groom into this because I don't think he gets an out just by saying, I don't know dresses. <laughs> you don't want a part of this. No, I know he doesn't want any part of it. Unfortunately, that's his mother. That's and fact. I don't care if you know anything about dresses. The issue is it, it doesn't matter if you know anything about dresses. She's wearing this uh, practically the same dress as your mom. So what if... You tell your husband, listen, this is a problem. If it's a problem for me, it's a problem for you. Mm. And you need to tell your mom she has to wear the original dress. It's mm. not. It's, uh, <laughs> I feel for him. I know you feel for it, but okay, put yourself, right, put yourself in this position uh-huh. and put yourself in his shoes and in her shoes. Your fiance comes to you and be and she's like, your mama is trying to like steal my mom's sparkle by wearing the same dress. You need to tell your mom she can't do that. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I would, I would go into my mama's house and just take the dress. You you hide I, it. Yeah, I would hide it. I would completely <laughs> just hide the dress. I ain't gonna tell my mama what she can and can't wear, but I will hide that dress if my if my baby puts me up to it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it'd be mission right. impossible. Olivia, is that an option? <laughs> Now, for him, I think I would suggest that to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, we're com- we're coming up with options here. Mm-hmm. So, option A, your mother can get get a get another dress for the wedding, but wear her original dress to the rehearsal dinner to upstage um, your mother in law, and she'll be the first to wear it, and her mother in law will look like a a copycat mm-hmm. and a wannabe. Or you can enlist your fiance to break into his mother's home and steal the dress and hide it until after the wedding. There's a third option. Oh, we have an option three? I don't know what it is about today, but this is just enraging me, and Uh-oh. I'm out for revenge, Uh-oh. and I want some confrontation. You, you are, you're very, like, you're fiery I'm, today. Yeah, I'm feeling it because you don't deserve to have this kind of drama before your wedding, and you're right. These are full-grown adults who don't need to, like, come on. You've already had conversations. I understand if it was... She didn't realize it really looked the same, but once that conversation's had, back off. And we're the, and, it's, and it's not like you don't have another dress to wear. You exactly, ha- you have the original dress. So you make sure that original dress gets brought to your wedding venue, and then as soon as your mother-in-law shows up, you spill a drink all over the front of her dress and say, "You don't f with the family," and you draw that boundary. <laughs> then she can go change into her other dress, but you put her in her place and you let her know who's boss. It's your wedding day. Like I'm But do you want to have to do that on your wedding day? Is that what you want to have to focus on on your wedding right, day? You get the maid of honor to do it there and pass go. on the message. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of like it's beyond a weird copycat situation. It's disrespect and it's very visual disrespect on a day that's supposed to be about you. And to me, that says something that there's something else going on and it's deeper and there's some boundaries that need to be drawn. So I say light it on fire. And if you don't create boundaries now, Olivia, she's going to walk all over you for the entirety of your marriage. Yep. 100%. Good luck. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it all in. I'm taking it all in. I'm just like, oh my God. Why? Why? We gave you some Thank options. You. We'll check back in with you and let you know what you decided to do, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank all you right. for your help. Good luck. And like Mo said, congrats. <laughs> Thanks. The Bird Show.